Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now you might be wondering, now you might be wondering that not all the objects that we see around us are straight lines because till now we have been discussing only about lines, line segments, rays and all of them are like straight lines. So we also see a lot of curved objects around us. So now in this section we are going to talk about curves. One most common thing that you can think of is a ball. So when you look at a ball, do you think that it is made up of lines or line segments or rays for that matter? No, because it, it's not at all straight from anywhere. So it's curved. So now let's discuss in detail about curves. So what exactly is a curve? So let's look at this, these shapes and then come to a conclusion that what curves could be. Look at the spherical shape of the sun or the shape of the heart or the shape of a bucket. So when you look at the bucket, you, do you see straight lines in the bucket? No, it, it has a surface which is like kind of round. Think of this oval conference table. So this table also it doesn't have line segments like it is not like the rectangular table where you actually could see line segments. You think of a tennis bat or a, a cricket bat. So there also you notice curves. They are not purely made up of line segments. Now in all of these objects you see that curves play an important role. In fact we do see curves in most of them. So what are curves? So curve is a line or outline deviating from being straight. So anything that is not straight is going to be a curve. Now this a curve can be a line like as I had mentioned before also that a line can be a straight line. It can also be a curved line or curve can just be an outline. Let's think of this line. Do you think it is a curve? Now anything which is not straight is a line. Now this line is actually a straight line. Now the moment you curve it, something like this, this becomes a curved line. So here you can say that this is a curve. Because for any line or outline to become a curve, the only requirement is that it should not be straight. So anything that is deviating from being straight is a curve. Think of these examples now. Think of the cup of coffee, the cup. When you look at the surface of the cup, do you think it is straight? It is not straight. It is again curved. When you look at the surface of the ball, there also it is not straight. It is curved. So these are all examples of curves. Now curves can also be of two categories. They can fall in these two categories. It can either be a closed curve or an open curve. Now you might be wondering what can be a closed curve and an open curve. So let us try to understand closed and open curves. So let's first discuss a closed curve. A closed curve is one which has no end points enclosing an area within. That means you really do not have a start point or an end point. So there is there are no there is no concept of any end point. But when it comes to an open curve, you have a start point and you also have an end point. Let me give you a very common example. You think of a rope. So let's say this is a rope, something like this. Rope is generally a thick uh, piece of string. Now when you look at this rope in this form, do you think it has a start point and an end point? Yes, of course, because this, this point is the start point, this point is the end point. So there are two fixed end points, one start point, one end point. Now let us say that if I take the same rope and I roll it to form a loop like this. This is the same rope again which I have used to form a loop like this. Now what happens? So you see it has formed a loop like this. So do you think that it has a start point and an end point now? It, it encloses some area within it. 
but which is the start point whether this is the start point or this is the start point or this is the start point we do not know so there is no start and start point or end point now but in this case it encloses an area within so basically this is an example of a closed curve and this is an example of an open curve so in open curve you will have distinctly the start point and end point but in closed curve there would be no distinct start point and end point and it will enclose an area within it so let us look at these images very clearly you can see that these are all examples of closed curves because in all of them you see that they enclose some space within them so you talk about any of these see look at this it encloses this area within it this curve it encloses this area within this curve again encloses this area and so on and for each of these can you tell me which would be the start point for this curve it could be this point it could be this point it could be this point it could be any point we do not know which is the start point or the end point so these are all examples of closed curve now let us look at open curve so when we talk about an open curve they have end points and there is no concept of area enclosed because it is not a closed area there is no boundary therefore there is no area enclosed let us look at this images here you see this is this is a curve of course but it has fixed end points the start point and the end point is fixed and therefore there is no area that is enclosed within it because only when it will be like covered from all ends only then you will have an area enclosed now in each of these you see that you have start points and end points and therefore there is no enclosed area so in each of these Right? So these are all examples of open curves. So this is how open curves and closed curves are different from each other. Now in curves again we can talk about simple and non-simple curves. So that, that is another categorization of curves. So what are simple curves? So these are those curves which do not cross itself. That means you have a curve like this. Now simple curves can be open curves, simple curves can also be closed curves. So both closed or open curves is, can be simple curves. The only criteria is that the curve should not cross itself. So here you see the curve, it doesn't cross itself, it doesn't intersect itself. But when you talk about non-simple curve, you would see that the curve would cross itself. That means the curve will intersect itself you see this is a curve and at this point the curve crosses itself here also at these points the curve crosses itself here the curve crosses itself so if you look at these curves there are certain points where the curve is passing over itself so therefore it is a non-simple curve now these two categorizations are totally independent that means a curve which is a simple curve can be a closed curve or an open curve similarly a curve which is a non-simple curve can again be a closed curve or an open curve thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you